Okay. Good afternoon, people. It is July 30. July 30, 2021. And that's odd. Because today I got some messages. Huh. That's crazy. I thought my phone was shut up. Anyway, July 30, 2021. It is Friday. And we're, Kathy and I are back from, uh, whoa. Easy does it, Mr. FedEx. Uh, back from the UP. Uper. You betcha, Uper. We're back. <laughs> so we left at 720 from Michi Shook Strand, something like that. Just past, just west of uh, Gould City on Highway 2. So we made it home before 12 o'clock. So we left at 720. So 720, 820, 920, 1020, 1120. 2, 3, 4, 5. So five hours. So again, so 820, 920, 1020, 11. No, four hours. So a little over four hours it took us to drive from uh, Mishish Hish uh, Strand Campground near Gould City, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. So a little over four hours. That's not bad making it back, <clears throat> but uh, this time we made it as quickly as possible to to the big highways. So. The only junky roads that we rode on was from Highway 127 to US 131. So, Cadillac. Cadillac, kek, 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 kek. You know what I'm talking about. But, <clears throat> so we did really good time. Again, we were in of the Upper Peninsula Monday and today's Friday. So Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Kathy's got to work for today. But we made it home in the morning. We left at 7.20. We're still in the morning. We made it home. So it was a very good feeling. Right now it's 12.30. Friday the 30th, July 2021. Anyway. <clears throat> Is it good to be back home? Yes! It's awesome! And yeah, my eyes are half open or half closed because that's a long drive and it was very, very tiresome. Packed up first thing in the morning. Collapsed the tent and the mattress, air mattress. Yes, and we're home. So what's the plan for today? Well, again, Cassie's got to work. I'm going to try to get a nap in. Hey, whoa, slow down, mister. Across the street, so this guy crossing the walkway. Does he have the right of way? I guess, I don't know. But I let him through. I slowed down. I'm a good guy. So, <laughs> I'm, gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna go wash the car right now. So it was a really good time. And I'll do a summary of the trip. All the places we went to. And all the people we met. Yes! Man, we met so many people that I wanted to see for so many, so many, so many years. And they're, most of them were uh, full-time RV people, uh, you know, showing us what they do in the United States of America. It was really nice. Very, very good. Had a good time. And we stayed in a tent. So the last time I stayed in a tent was at Silver Lake, probably 19... 81 so you know quite a few years like 40 years and uh, this was a very small tent which I'll show you we'll talk about I'll talk about that and it was very uncomfortable the sleep was okay we slept on a, on a big one piece air mattress the problem with air mattresses are you can they, they have a guarantee and the guarantee is that they leak however slightly but they do leak and over time your 
upper body sinks way down and your feet fly way up in the air. And it wasn't that comfortable. It wasn't too bad. Another problem was the nights were very cold and I slept, you know, when it's cold, you don't sleep comfortably. So I told Kathy, basically, I hate it when people say basically all the time. Basically, it felt like I was sleeping with a comforter that was made out of large fish, fish netting with holes this big. So try to picture yourself on a cold night, you pull a nice comfortable comforter over you, which turns out to be a fish net. Well, obviously a fish net doesn't hold water or air. So uh, any heat just dissipated, just flew out of the fish net holes. That's what it felt like. So it was very uncomfortable. But we did happen to find a pretty nice comforter that somebody abandoned in the laundry room at the campground. Kathy washed it nicely, dried it nicely, and we laid that on top of the little dinky comforter that we had, and it helped. I'm not saying it was perfect, but it helped. I was still cold when I got up, clammy. But, oh, two, two nights it rained first night Monday night it rained so hard and so bad that uh, I thought we we're all gonna die because it's thundering and lightning it's a good thing I bought a new tarp covering so I put that over top of the tent so the rain shed off of the tent the tent never really got wet got a little bit that seeped into the tent because it rained so hard so that was Monday. Tuesday, it didn't rain. Wednesday, it rained. Night, but it didn't rain that long. And Thursday, during the day, it blew so hard that it knocked the canopy over two times. So I had to, we had to put that away. And then at night, it blew so hard, I thought the tent was gonna blow away. But I already prepared for that because knowing it was gonna get windy, I put, uh, and then it was windy, I put logs, fire logs, on each corner of the tent. Uh, but again, at night it blew so hard, I thought the tent was gonna blow over. I saw one tent that was totally blown over from somebody else, but uh, it managed to stay up last night. Had a decent sleep, not the best, but uh, yeah. Didn't dare to bring the car through a car wash, so I'm heading to the car wash right now, 44th Street and um, I don't know what corner that is. 44th Street by, I think I see the Helena Road, something like that. So we got to get the car washed at Tommy's Express. Otherwise, guys, it wasn't a bad time. We had a pretty good time. A lot of good eats. It was all right. All right, into the car wash we go. Fully automatic. Let's see, I gotta drive in, tell it to put some, tell us, Put it in neutral there it's a neutral all right guys again it was a good time but it's sure nice to be back home got the car all emptied out you just got to put most of the stuff is put away but just a small stuff like peanut butter, jam, all the stuff that's in our cooler. It's amazing how much stuff you bring that you really don't need. And it's amazing how much you need that you didn't bring. Yeah, I know. But how do you prepare for something like that? I don't know, maybe I should have a checklist or something. So, but again, 
guys, to wrap this video up, it is July 30th, 2021, Friday, and we are back home from camping with the schoolies. Uh, a lot of videos coming, guys, so watch it. And I'll also do a total recall on the what happened, how everything went, a lot of pictures and snippets of videos that I'll show you. But again, so nice to be back home. See you guys. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.